There we go. Hey y'all, Captain JDB84, uh, filming outside because it's a nice day out. Uh, you might hear a few bangs and noises, like there, because my neighbor's doing construction, but I have the microphone, so hopefully it muffles out some of the sound. Anyways, Red vs. Blue Season 12, Episode 4 is another good episode. Um, it is a bit of a slow episode, and not much really happens, apart from some exposit. Well, okay, some stuff happens, I guess. So, the Reds and the Blues, well, they actually get their shit together, and they actually get some forces together, which I thought, oh, okay, that's, that's pretty cool of them to actually do that. So that's good. Uh, and it's funny, sort of the soldiers they get, they each sort of represent some other version of the Reds and the Blues, I meaning like, they, you got the, their, the ODSTs were white armor, but they also have a trim color, and the trim color is supposed to represent the remaining Reds and Blues. Uh, Griff Simmons, Tucker Caboose, and they each uh, they decide they need to vote on a leader between uh, Griff Simmons, Tucker, and Caboose, and uh, Tucker becomes the leader in probably the most uh, ridiculous way possible. He gives a speech on saying why he hates being a leader, and everyone's just like, yeah, okay, we'll vote for him, and what do you know, Felix comes back to be an asshole, but I think in a good way though. Seriously, I want the I want Tucker and Felix just to just to go at it. Just have Tucker just kill this asshole. Um, so that was nice. Uh, what else? The <laughs> Simmons picked uh, the really nerdy chick who chokes on her own spit, or he could have picked the super hot chick who plays volleyball. <laughs> and Griff's just like, what the fuck, man? <laughs> um. Caboose picks a uh, super, super soldier, super serious soldier, who, Caboose gives a speech, he's like, I will be class president, no more uniforms, and Kool-Aid in the water fountains, <laughs> to which the super, so the super serious soldier's like, oh my god, no more uniforms, that means the war will be over, I'll never have to raise another gun again, but what about Kool-Aid in the water fountains, yeah, that's pretty cool too, Caboose, I don't know what Simmons says, I think he just gives like a typical speech. Oh, I love at the beginning of this episode, Griff's sort of going on about the two types of soldiers, the kiss asses and the mavericks, <laughs> which I thought was funny. He's like, you're such a maverick. That's such a maverick response. <laughs> That's such a kiss ass response. <clears throat> so yeah, another good episode and showing, hey, the Reds and the Blues are actually going somewhere for once. Actually getting somewhere and actually, whoops, trying to get somewhere, which I think is good. So yeah, that's cool. Uh... I don't know, this could shape out to be a great season, but we'll see. Um, that's all I have to say, so what did you think of the episode? I thought it was great. Uh, well, not perfect, but good enough. Um, curious about next week's episode, and may hopefully they don't spend eight episodes trying to save uh, Donut, Washington, and Sarge. So, here's hoping. Alright, that was uh, this getting a nice eight and a half out of ten, and that was the episode, and sorry for the noise. <laughs> See you later.